Hey guys, and welcome to this Sunday um, live stream. <laughs> I have to hold this camera myself, but my arm hurts like crazy. <laughs> so, wow, I am here in the Madrid Island. And hey, robot, and I'm just gonna wait for you guys to uh, to tap in. So I just was. Uh, was running and doing my burpees here so you get me uh, all raw with sweat everywhere and uh, not so prepared but always ready for what is to come in the moment hey Yvonne hey Pauline so um, the Wi-Fi in my apartment is not so good so therefore I thought okay let's take it outside and next week I'm gonna make this um, I'm gonna make it in my apartment so I'm gonna make it purely for the questions I get per email therefore today we're gonna make it by the questions that you guys ask so I'm just gonna wait for you guys to uh, ask whatever is on your mind and while we wait for people to tap in I can maybe show you my surroundings As many may notice, it's very much about grounding at the moment. Grounding within ourselves, but also reconnecting to Mother Earth. In this time where people are separated and with a lot of fear and a lot of um, doubts and <laughs> mouth God and etc. It is so very important that we reconnect to nature. So we remind ourselves that everything is okay. That the world isn't that dangerous. That we are always connected. And that we create our own world reality. So, let's see. Uh, we got the first question here. Oh, <laughs> little spiders. Hey, you. Okay. Hey, love. So since July started, the energy um, are very powerful and active, fast and super intense, more than last month. Um, where did we go? What is going on at the galactic level right now? In my perception, we go faster and more active. I feel also uh, an even getting, gathering need for balance and grounding. <laughs> yes, as I just said. Um, how do you perceive it? And what is your perception? Are we asked to develop in this time? Okay, so for a longer period, the world has been locked down, right? So for a longer period, it has been time to look within. Now the world, and uh, now we're just talking earth level. So now the world slowly start reopening for a short amount of time. That means that everybody speeding up that process is that everything start going faster. Many people go straight into the patterns that they came from. Uh, just hyper it up because they want to catch up by everything they did not do and what will happen within the next month is that a lot of these people will realize that we cannot go back to what we came from that it is a time where we need to actually change where we need to recreate so on an earth level this is what's going on like everybody think da -da -da, time to break out but they can't really do it and then everything gets frustrating um, and the energy is very much push and pull back and forwards. If you look at it on the intergalactic level, there's more support on Earth than ever. There's more beings here than there has been for a long amount of time. Some of them is allowed to be active and to provide the help which we ask for. Other of them are only here as observants. They are not allowed to interfere, but only observe what is going on. As everybody in the human world is created by push and pull, I hate it, no, by duality. 
and um, by free will. They are allowed to interfere on an energetic level, but not step in unless you ask them for it. So a lot of people will have a lot of influences at the time. Some of them will hear <laughs> good things, some of them bad, some of them all mixed together. And it is within you, <clears throat> your choices to figure out what is the truth for you. What do you wish to support? On a global level, a lot is going on. A lot is going on there that might frustrate people because a lot of stuff is coming to the surface, right? A lot of things it is, is being put into the light, which means that we see more darkness, but what we actually are doing is we're shining light upon something that has been for so long that need to come to the surface in order of resolve out to nothing and create more love within. This is on a global level, but this is also what is going on inside of you. So a lot of people are experience old emotions, old traumas that they thought this, this is long gone. Like I don't even think about it anymore. Why does it come up? It comes up because you need to really look at it. Let it come up, come to the surface, face it, be okay with it and let it transcend. Okay, I think I answered your question. Mm. So this second wave is needed for the people to change their patterns. Yes. So as we have this whole good and bad thing on earth, the second wave, if it is a second wave in lockdown, if it is a second wave in Corona spreading or whatever, let's say it like this, energetically, a second wave in whatever form it wishes to appear is needed. Uh, what are your thoughts about partner relationships these days? It feels as if I start a relationship in struggle. I, it feels as if I start a relationship I struggle with being connected with the other and being strong and independent at the same time. So the whole point about relationships is to surrender into doing something together. It's surrender into vulnerability. It's surrender into needing each other for certain things. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't be strong and independent. It is all about our perception of independency and our perception of being strong. To be strong is also to be vulnerable. It is daring to allow yourself to be vulnerable. It's daring to surrender into whatever uh, partnerships that you choose to be a part of. The important thing is that when you, when you are strong, independent within oneself, <laughs> what you will attract will be somebody who will either challenge it or vibrationally match it, right? So what you want to look at in a partnership is just, is this partner matching me? Can I be me next to him? Not in being strong and independent, but being soft and flowing and feel like growing. Um, for me personally, I love, I love everybody. That's horrible. <laughs> but of course I love them in different shapes and form. And, and the question that I always ask myself is, do I love me next to him? So instead of uh, judging everything upon do I love him, don't I love him, what does he do for me, blah, blah, blah. I look in the mirror and ask myself, do I love me next to him? Do I love the person that I become when he is around me or I am around him? <clears throat> and about relationships, it really depends who you are, where you are in your process, which wave you belong to. Um, so it's not so general. The most important thing to say in that is that you just need to listen to your heart. You need to listen to where are you in your learnings? Where are you in your being? And um, what do your heart truly desire? That's a good one. Hi Lisa, I stopped giving my dog pain medication a while back. Do you also think that she no longer need it? 
I did notice that she limps much more. I actually hope I made the right choice. Um, so the thing about dogs is if you take away the pain fully, they are not conscious that something is wrong with their feet or their knee or, or their legs. So in my perception, you made the right choice. If I look into her, uh, the pain is, is, it is not, it's not, uh, how do you say, it? like a nerve pain, you know, but it is a pain that make her conscious that she's not able to move her hip uh, freely without uh, pain. So from the perception that I hold, you made the right choice. It feels like a bear in a hole, a lot of silence and observations. Run, I understand fully for a long period in this whole lockdown thing, like three months or something. I just been feeling like waiting, do, 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 waiting for it. <laughs> and uh, from the way that you belong to, I understand why you still feel like the bear in the hole because nothing is settled yet. What we do is we have a lot of perceptions, which is opened. We have a lot of possibilities, but none of them is yet grounded because the amount of free will and the choices that the humanity is going to make the next one to three months is going to inform the outcome that we are waiting for. So because of the level of consciousness and the lack of groundation on earth you have, <laughs> a little bit myself too, um, you still feel yourself in this waiting position. And I totally get that. What is happening with my teeth in my underjaw? What is happening to your jaw? Um, if I look at it, everything cramps up. And as I told in the beginning of this, um, talk it's a lot of old traumas coming to the surface it's a lot of old troubles uh, a lot of old perceptions of oneself financially for some people and um, so these things are coming to the surface what you need to look into is is it really coming from your teeth or is it coming from your jawline because if you overthink at night and you tense up in your jaw it feels as if your whole set of teeth is hurting but it might just be the tensions of your jaw and your thought patterns. Love your answer about relationship. Thanks, Anouk. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh oh. I feel like I'm being stalked on this island. <laughs> um, any other questions? Nope, not for now. Okay, so there is this one question that I promised to uh, that I promised to answer this week, and I'm just gonna do it uh, here. And still, if any of you guys have questions, please ask them. Oh, there. Do nausea in the body relate to upcoming shift? Um, yes, because you, the way you're sensitive, everything goes to your jawline and it goes to through your nerve system and in your stomach area. So nausea is, is your way of digesting what is going on emotionally, maybe not fully paying attention to those emotions that you have within. Um, and honestly, uh, this nauseousness thing um, <laughs> definitely can be a reaction on all the different energies going on on the planet right now, for sure. Take it for somebody who is uh, super nauseous. <laughs> hey Lisa, when you meet people you have past life connection with, uh, you can behave in patterns that had to do with other lives. How to rise above this, to be conscious and live, uh, and live, feel through the unfinished business. What? Okay, so what you mean is when I meet people from I have had life connections with, and you might feel this whole um, 
karma kind of thing, how to get past it. What you do is you look into the connection together. Look each other in the eyes. You go through whatever you went through together emotionally and allow it fully, express it fully, and then set it free. For example, I'm going to use this term. I'm sorry, Marky. So my sweet brother Nimsis uh, killed me back in uh, Egypt uh, pretty many years ago. And in this life, he is to... Oh no, I was uh, bitten by something. <laughs> um, in this life, of course, he's not going to kill me and he's super sweet. And But in our meeting, uh, I had this feeling of anger to his ego and his wanting power and blah, blah, blah. And for him, he has to have this feeling of, of lacking to be there. And what we needed to do is we needed to explode, getting angry and realigned. And I needed to forgive him and just let him know that I love him and that he is forgiven. And then it's all resolved. So what you do is you just treat it like every other trauma you get in this life. It doesn't really matter if it's this life or other life. As long as it's in your system, it's all the same. So you treat it exactly the same way and you go through it exactly the same way. The only thing is just for some people, it's easier to deal with traumas there's further away because that for them, there is a separation between this life and the lives before. For me, there is absolutely no difference. Actually, I think the lives before <laughs> seems more real than this one. So <laughs> I'm working on that one. Um, Pauline. Are we meant to ask for more active support from the light beings observing us? I have a tendency to flow and be open to all there is, but should we do more? Should we do more? That depends what you want help for. Their message is that they are here and they are willing to help. And there are some of them saying we are willing to fuck it all up. <laughs> And what is up to you is to allow yourself to ask the help that you need if you feel that you need more than just what comes. For me, I definitely uh, forget to ask for help. Um, and I have the same perception that you have that whatever is meant to be will be. But in some cases and some days, it is a part of the process for us to learn to ask for help. And it will be given. How are you doing? Me, how am I doing? Um, right now everything is itchy because I think that all these animals are biting me because I'm not so grounded when I'm doing this uh, conversation. For the rest, how am I doing? I feel it has been a pretty intense uh, process and shift um, till here. I had to get readjusted to the energies and figure out exactly what I needed to do here in this country, but also realigning the whole perception on what I have to do on Earth. Like, in which form do the universe wish me to uh, be and bring whatever I am here to do? And for me, this is a big, a big subject within my heart. Um, I have been struggling with some physical pains, but I realized that it is because I observe uh, fear and everything around me and uh, it sounds like echoes in my head until I get it to release and if I don't realize these echoes then it manifests uh, physically in my legs so <laughs> because of this whole lockdown thing I really liked foundation for a few months and now I'm here in nature with my feet uh, focusing on grounding like just be more being in the moment. I think that will be the best way of telling how I'm doing. Can you share your view of vaccines? Oh, oh this is gonna be a great one. Um, it is within my belief that some vaccines was made to help humanity. It is within my belief that a lot of people who are creating or recreating these vaccines truly believe that they are doing a good job, that they, that they are helping uh, helping us, helping the world. It is also within my perception that this vaccine that will be created uh, to the COVID-19 is not a vaccine that I feel will benefit uh, humanity. It's not a vaccine that I feel 
would uh, do good. And it's not a vaccine I would wish to get myself. But it is as it is with everything. You need to feel where you are within yourself. You need to feel what you are ready to believe, what you are ready to have faith in. I am in no position to tell what is right or what is wrong for you. I am only here to share how I see and what I uh, transcend. Um, and to me, that vaccine, along three other vaccines that I can perceive, was created to hold humanity down, and the others was actually created to help them up. So. <laughs> Hey, my shoulder is so annoying and several times I can't lift my arms. Can you please tell me what it's trying to tell me? Well, it's not about your shoulder. It comes from your back. So you need to talk with your back. Uh, it feels as the faith as coming together, the collective heals the belly. Oh, it's a good run. <laughs> so that things I should do to process all emotions. I uh, The jaw shove. You should look into what is in the draw, draw, draw your line. Look into which thoughts there are um, influencing it. And look into um, the suppressed anger. What it means to you. Two questions. How far am I in the process of grief within myself and my uh, lineage? Um, I have feeling that I'm done. Uh, on stage to meet other layers too. Why it's so hard for me to wake up early in the morning? I would love to be able to wake up early, but I struggle only able if I have engagement with others, not for myself. Well, because we need rest. <laughs> it's the same for me. I, well, I'm a lot of awake, but then there's this part of me that says, no, go back to bed, unless that I have to be up at a certain time. So it is because that in this time, there is so much processing to do and you need to relax. You need to take the time to recenter. You need to take your space to heal physically, mentally, emotionally. And it is 100% fully okay. It is intended that way. This is not a time for rising and shining like a mofo. No, it's the time to seek within and allow the rest to take place. Because when you allow the rest to take place, everything will come up and at a certain point it will create silence or <laughs> it will create the opening that you've been searching for. Don't fear the relaxed moment. I did fear this for ages, but I'm facing it. It's good. We are loving it. <laughs> um, yes, I completely understand you. Hope we have the freedom we have choices around you. Can you share something about that gratitude? Uh, what? Nadia. Yes, complete understand you. Hope we have the freedom to have choices around it. Can you share something around that gratitude? Sweetie, I don't know what you mean. Um, I think I fall in love with my soulmate, but there are circumstances in which we cannot come together. I don't know what to do with it. Shall I wait till circumstances improve or move on with my life and look for another partner? Oh, these things about love relationships is always hard. Like, um, because from my perception, how can you move on from something if you're not finished with it, right? But what you can do is you can change the form. So the love is there, the connection is there, but maybe you're not able to be physically partners in this moment, but it doesn't change the fact that you love each other. So what does moving on actually mean? It only means that the ego part within you that wants to claim the other person, let go of that perception. And then you love the person in the form that is attended for that moment. There's, if we cannot let somebody go, there is always a reason. There's always something we have to look on, upon within. <laughs> Come on, mosquitoes, really? I'm trying to be grounded here. <laughs> um, so allow yourself to look within. 
what is she representing for you one which emotions are triggered by you not being able to be together two what are you truly desired desiring that isn't able to be fulfilled within this combination three and what does she fulfill within you that you are searching for that you fear you cannot find within another person four okay guys this will be it for today i hope you like the answers and i'm really happy that you're tapping in um if there's questions that i did not answer I will uh, take a screenshot and I will answer it next week on the, uh, what do you call it, the home stream that I will post. Um, yeah, you guys are doing great. Keep it up and I am happy we're in this thing together. Doo -doo <laughs>